Sun. Let's suppose that, like us, the universe itself is alive. It has a spirit. It has a mind, which is intelligence itself. After all, the universe keeps on making new galaxies and stars according to a plan that we're yet to understand. Let's imagine the energy of all the billions and trillions of stars blazing away and all the heat and light that they are radiating out into the darkness. Is there a message they're giving to us? In a sense, they're a celebration of existence. Their message is of joy and love. And when we think that those stars turn helium, the most basic material, into hydrogen, and that fuses into carbon and oxygen, and we further realize that the biggest stars also make neon, magnesium, silicon and iron, and when they eventually die and become supernovae, they create the rest of the elements which exist, well, then we recognize our connection to this process as we are made of some of these materials. When we're present, when we're in the moment, when we are just being, without thinking about anything in particular, it seems we're able to align ourselves with the mind of the universe. To experience this with you is the biggest gift, and I'm grateful for it.